Hey, I'm Sarah McBurney Laporto, bringing you McBurning questions today. Well, no, it is a question. I mean, everybody's like, what's going on with the market? Um, you know, and these are interesting times. It's it's a place we've been before, right? We've been on borrowed time in a really high, strong seller's market year over year for like the last 11 to 12 years. And historically, a market cycle is every seven years. So what's happening? Interest rates have gone up. That prices certain people out of the market. They can no longer afford to buy. Um, or until prices settle out, i.e. come down to a certain place where there can be a balancing act of the cost of the home coupled with the interest rate that it is affordable. But let's be real, folks. It's Massachusetts. Affordability is a struggle all the time. Uh, rents are at, you know, an all-time high. Everything's expensive. So especially if you're a first-time buyer, getting a pre-approval with no prior historical context of an interest rate find what you can afford. You know, the wealthiest people in the country own real estate. I mean, that's how, you know, that's how true wealth is accumulated in a lot of cases. Anyway, um, what I really wanted to talk about is this phenomenon of seller market, buyer market. I know I've touched upon it in prior videos, but this is really, really important. Um, especially as a buyer. We are trained, we are programmed to be in this consumerism mindset. And here's where it's going to get you really twisted in real estate. Why on God's green earth would you want to be a buyer entering, jumping into the buying pool when everybody and their mother is a buyer, right? So we are now coming out of this crazed, frenzied, heightened market, seller market where prices were insane and ridiculous and you want to be a buyer in that and you want to enter that competition, right? Because everybody is putting their seal of approval on buying real estate. Everybody is putting their stamp on houses that probably weren't worth the stamp. Let's be honest. And now, over time, we're going to see this over time, as prices start to settle, prices start to come down. Yes, interest rates are higher, but there's going to be more opportunity now. Now you're going to be afraid and now you're going to pull back. How does this make any sense? You're going to have less competition. You're going to be able to be pickier. You're going to be able to negotiate more easily. Um, now is the time to become a buyer, not when everybody else was buying. Literally, I want to write a book on the basis of real estate being fear. When it, when you boil it down, it's really all about fear. In a heightened market, you want to enter as a buyer because you have the fear of you don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out on this. Somebody's getting a great house, right? And in this market where it potentially is going to shift into, we're not there yet, but we're getting, we're going to start to get there. It's the way it looks. We're starting to get into being a buyer's market. And the fear is, oh God, nobody else wants to buy this house. It's got to be something wrong with it. The fear that you're going to be taken advantage of. No, it's called being a smart consumer when not everybody is buying. Um, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, the time to buy is the time that you need to buy. Or if you haven't purchased property, like you are paying a mortgage no matter what. It's just, is it your own or is it your landlord's? Um, if you want to talk further about any of this, please feel free. Text me, call me 978-337-9955. I am always available for consultation. If you are like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, great. Call me. No obligations. I will help you. Um, I hope this helped. Have a great day.